Wind's getting vicious. So grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye. I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. Keep off the Fire. He's struggling with the loss. Leola. I know, but it's been months, and we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. The Chasseur has a lead on the box, to meet him and Chevalier in St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. Sail as you can. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power, what did he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shay. A long talk with Adewali about that. He believes the box can be activated to, well, project words or images. Now that's booty.
stop you! Oh, I need to Like a magic lantern? What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall like cathedrals in Rome. Bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strange language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both could be lovely. See, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. Yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But that's no slight against our lasses from home. I suppose. I think Galway has the nicest ones. Fair and modest. Always willing to spot you a penny for an ale. You don't say. And then there's the maids I met in Lisbon. Destined for the convent they were. Dark-eyed and kindly dispositioned. If only I'd spoke Portuguese. Not that we spent much of our nights talking. Opinions like that give a man an entirely different reputation. We're almost there, Captain. Le Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. That's a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. Most welcome here, sir. I'm your most days, should you return.
Valier. What happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ship in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafu nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry, you can catch him there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my hooded friends. Captain? Sir! I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Che. Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon, and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. I ought... The liberty of ordering some improvements. And now has a ram cut through ice itself. I have heard of such technology, but never witnessed its operation. What about Smith, then? Is he close by? Aye, he sails these very waters. And there he, he may is. Have the Most fortunate timing. Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you. He's seen us. Give chase. But hold your fire. We must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea. Can't this bucket go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. Fire! Our time is a smart man, but out of his element here. Samuel Smith is a dangerous treasure. What he's doing in these waters is beyond me. Maybe he came here to meet someone. No ran into your pirates. He's refitting his ship. Something must have happened. If one of my allies attacked him, I would have known about it. And he's back from a long voyage. I have a chance to get him. Smith controls most of the Templars well, doesn't he? With him out of the way... Washington entrusted the precursor box to him. He probably still has it. Shay's right. The box comes first. So we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship. We'll force him to beach. Fire! Look, Captain. It's cutting through the ice. It seems you are not the only one equipped with such a ram, Shay. Let us hope ours fares just as well. We're slicing through the ice! It worked. The way is clear. Now, uh, once more, your fortune holds. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is giving away. Okay. These waters are full. It's an ambush. Off where you see the Diablo not there. Smith must not escape. Fire! 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 
I don't see Smith's ship. There's Smith. He's moving again. No doubt he hoped to be a spectator of your demise. I'm glad to disappoint him. And he's still within reach. Wickedness is this! Another Templar tactic. They can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shay. We could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have him. Was headed. The bastard has an encampment here. Follow him on land. Do not even think of firing the ship's weapons near that precious box. I'll take care of this. Your brotherhood is using you. Matters not. <coughs> Some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work. <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript, and all shall be revealed. Precursor box. Smith's dead. Well done, Che. Where's Chevalier? Returning to Le Garfou. We'll have to celebrate without him, I'm afraid. I don't much feel like celebrating, Liam. I know we have to get these artifacts back. Oh, Samuel Smith. He could barely hold his sword straight. Oh, 
more sail! All sail! Those topsails can't control us! Sailor, then listen to me. I'll sing you a song of the fish in the sea. And it's windy weather, boys, and stormy weather. Sir, just visit it. My sister lives here. And how long are you planning to hold it? You're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. I'm speaking of Lawrence Washington. But you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardrobe. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape. Six Nations for a while. He's responsible for the New York levies. Ah, 
That must be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he has the manuscript, or knows where it is. As I have stated previously, I believe we need a national union, granted by an act of parliament, but bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill prepared to face them. To put it bluntly, the colonies must join, or die. Rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant our colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to... Electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript. Captain? I apologize, sir. But Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You made the excuse for a uniform. Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post-haste. Else I will have him scalped. I can't let that lobster captain reach Wardrop. I think we need a stronger... Try to get past me, I'll spill your brains. Got a shot on the... Ah! Honey! Now to Wardrop. On the manuscript. I'll take that, you Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, no one is safe. Even the devil can quote scripture to suit his own purposes. Shake us then! 
I have the manuscript. Great. Hope is waiting for you in Sleepy Hollow. What's in Sleepy Hollow? Benjamin Franklin. The man Johnson hired to make that strange precursor box work. So what's the plan? Eat Hope. Impersonate one of Johnson's men. And give the box of manuscript to Franklin. So I'm a messenger then. Aye. See if this Franklin can figure out how this damn box operates. Stay with him. Oh, and as far as we can tell, this man doesn't know about the Templars or the assassins for that matter. Oh, a simple task. Live for a simple man. Oh, my 
Citizens are warned that an outbreak of typhoid is at hand. To treat those afflicted, the following measures are recommended. Induced vomiting, opium, use of herbs, rest, and prayer. You're late? The sky is getting temperamental. That's not the only thing, is it? Uh, Master Franklin, sir. My name is Shay, and this is my associate, Hope. William Johnson told us to give you these. Ah. Thank you, but I'm afraid I must delay my experiment. Delay it? Why? The army confiscated my lightning rods. They are essential to conducting the electricity. I need to vivify your box. Master Johnson would not want you to have to wait. Perhaps there is something you can do, then. Soldiers have been hauling things away all day. Perhaps they could tell you where they've taken my lightning rods so you could get them back. At your service, sir. Begin your investigation at the market near the docks. I will stay here and help with the preparations. This is intolerable. I can barely conduct my research. Everyone is having metal contact with me. Yes. The army will dump it down and turn it into weapons. Uh. The weather is getting worse. You know where the warehouse is, soldier. Aye, sir. I wonder what Master Franklin plans to do with these rods. The storm's getting worse. 
Let's hurry back to Franklin. Thank goodness! Uh, quick! Help me with the rods! Portugal, Lisbon, I'd stake my life on it. Make yourself scarce, Shay. The militia will be here any minute. I'm sure they will have questions. What about you? I'm a devoted housekeeper. Right. <laughs> 